What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Today we'll be going through the settings of Battlefield 2042 that I've been using and some of the settings that I recommend you using. Of course with settings there's always some personal stuff uh, that I use that maybe you don't like to use and that's okay. Uh, but I just wanted to share the settings. Also if you're looking for a specific certain setting, I have time frames in the description. If you're looking for my sensitivity or field of view, stuff like that will be linked in the description so you can kind of skip through the video. I'll be literally showing everything from the sound settings to the button layout. Uh, this is mainly for uh, console players. If you're a PC player, there's definitely settings that I've been using that I recommend to you using as well. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, so these are the main uh, general settings, uh, whatever you prefer here. This is not really something, if you start off the game, turning on these hints could be useful. Uh, but it's not necessarily something you want to be using, yes or no. Um, so we're going to the display settings right away. Field of view 105 and vehicle field of view is on 88. I have ADS FOV on. Um, if you struggle to see enemies, you should not use max field of view. So if you have a easy time spotting enemies, try to put up uh, your field of view as high as possible until you don't really start seeing enemies anymore. Um, so a max field of view is not recommended, uh, but I personally uh, think it helps in chaotic situations. Brightness, this is a very personal setting because this has to do with the brightness of the monitor you use. So I use uh, 60, don't really recommend copying this. Uh, motion blur on zero, definitely recommended and putting these two off is definitely recommended as well. Uh, these are the HUD options, I think this is all on default settings. Camera shake, as low as possible, definitely recommended. If you're colorblind, uh, like me, <laughs> uh, you can put this to custom and you can customize your button layouts. You can also just uh, change them around. Uh, normally, I would be able to show you the color codes that I've been using, but as you can see right now, I can't. Um, so for the uh, colors, I can only show you that I use a yellow for a friendly color and then for squad color, I use a very light bluish color. The enemy color, I think it's default. I made it maybe a little bit more red. Uh, I wish I could show the color code, but it doesn't show that in the game. Uh, here you have the chat lock. This is a very important setting, the road lock. This is like your kill feed pretty much. Uh, I have it to squat and nearby. And what it means with nearby is if there is action going on, if a teammate gets a kill or an enemy gets a kill nearby, uh, it will show in the kill feed. This means that if you're playing conquest, uh, with a really large map and you see something in the kill feed with this setting, you know, oh, there's some action going on nearby. I have to watch out. Um, so I definitely recommend putting your kill lock to nearby. And with squads, it's kind of useful if you play with friends and you know what they're using and stuff like that. So you can only you can also put this on just nearby if you think that's more. Um, this is all on default. Crosshair. Uh, I have, I think these are all on default settings as well. Um, you can customize these colors if you want to here. I don't know if I've customized my, my, mine or if these are uh, default, but this is the colors that I use. Again, I cannot show the color code because the game doesn't uh, allow me to do that. Minimap settings, very important. I think ro rotate with view is definitely a useful one, unless you're not used to it with certain different games, you don't have this. Um, on foot radius, 90. Uh, ground vehicles 120 i think air vehicles you should put this as high as possible uh, because a lot of air vehicles have a radar around them so you can spot different vehicles uh, when you're in a chopper or an air vehicle so you can easily see them uh, and you don't really have to see a detailed version of the map so uh, putting this on 200 or maybe even higher uh, could definitely be very useful uh, these are the numbers I use for these settings, don't know if it's default or not. Hot icons, these I have all set to default, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys the numbers that I'm using, uh, but yeah, it's all default. Sound, very important, right here. Uh, Massive volume 100, music on zero. Then I have a uh, sound configuration on stereo, and then the audio mix is on 3D headphones. Um, audio in this game is always a little bit inconsistent, but I felt like it's the most consistent with these uh, two settings. And then you can change these around if you want to, it's kind of personal preference. Uh, but these two audio settings are very important. Uh, voice chat, this is default settings and this is default settings. Now we're coming into some important stuff. Uh, controls, I have uh, everything as you can see on default besides my 
controls this is on custom i'll quickly go through my button uh setup that i use i have a default dual sense controller uh, so you guys know that um and what i pretty much switch around is i switch around r1 uh, to r2 so those are flipped and l1 and l2 are flipped so i shoot and aim with the two uh top buttons and uh, i do the other uh, options with the the lower buttons i feel like the top buttons r1 and l1 uh, are more responsive so i recommend uh, switching that and then for movement here uh, i don't think oh here you go uh, crouch uh, and prone i have it on r3 and then i have knifing on circle so those two are flipped and those are the only settings that i have switched i'll quickly show you guys here here is the uh, melee takedown it's on circle uh, and this is all on uh, default uh, as far as I know here modify weapon attachments on L2 so that's flipped um, for the uh, for the vehicle settings this is all on default settings so whatever uh, the default settings is that's what I'm using so it's not really interesting showing that right now um, then we have the global settings. I have aircraft on inverted, the rest is all on normal pretty much. And then on foot, here's the sensitivity settings, 90 for the soldier. And then I'll quickly go down and I have zoom sensitivity on 50. This is a percentage of your uh, soldier aim sensitivity. So when you put it on 50 like I have, this, is th this means is half of the sensitivity you use for your soldier. So it's 50%. If you would put this on 100, it would mean that it's the same as the soldier aim sensitivity. Um, field of view again here, 105, soldier aim assist on 70, aim assist in this game is pretty bad, so um, this is not really the ultimate setting. I personally like using it, or I just got used to using this, so soldier aim, uh, aim assist on 70, and do definitely don't use zoom snap, this will ruin your muscle memory, so turn this off as soon as you get on the game, um, or if you actually want to get better at the game, definitely would recommend turning that completely off. Um, this is all on default here again the zoom sensitivity on 50 uh, this is an important one aim acceleration on zero um, vertical aim ratio is on 50 uh, so this is an important one to put this on zero you have more uh, of a responsive time uniform soldier aiming is turned on uh, and coefficient on 133 uh, I think these are all on default yep Vehicle, vehicle aim sensitivity on 50. I have to field of fuel on 88. I definitely recommend putting vehicle field of view uh, completely maxed out so you have as much awareness around you as possible. These are the sensitivities that I use for um, for vehicles. And then uh, I think there's uniform soldier aiming somewhere here. Aim acceleration again on zero. And here's the uniform vehicle aiming also turned on. Controller tuning. These are my dead zones that I use in game. I uh, don't think these are default. These are the default settings for Battlefield 5 actually and I copied them straight over. Uh, so these are the dead zones that I have been using. Uh, I think that's going to be it for the interesting settings. This is something we already went through. Um, definitely important settings here. Controls again something we went over and the extras nothing interesting here So that's gonna be the settings that I've been using definitely recommend copying some of the settings that I have uh, Hopefully this video was useful if it was be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this And I hope to see you guys in the next one